It's absolutely breathtaking. And such a massive cave. I mean, do we even know when this was formed, Quiva? And it's very hard to date a cave, but what we can do is we can look at stuff like the stalactites, the sediment in the cave, and we can carbon date them and see how old they are. And then we know the cave must be at least older than them. So for example, there's bits of uh, speleothem, so the, the calcite, in some of the cave sediments, and we can date that and indicates that the cave is at least half a million years old. It probably would have been formed by glacial meltwater. So as the glaciers were melting, huge volumes of water would have been rushing through here, which would have created, carved out these big spaces. We know this is limestone and there's a lot of it in Ireland. Does all the limestone in Ireland have the capacity to be dissolved and to, to form caves like this? Not really, some more than others. It depends on different things like the purity of the limestone, so the amount of calcium carbonate in the limestone, how pure it is, what other things are there. If there's a lot of mud sediments or shaley limestone, it can't dissolve, the, rain, the water can't dissolve it as much. Also, you need to have some sort of uh, bedding planes or lines of weaknesses, so the water doesn't get in through the rock mass, it, it flows in through the cracks in the rocks. Beneath the surface of the island is an enormous interconnected system with water seeping into the ground and making its way through cracks, gaps, sinkholes and disappearing streams. Usually in karst environments is the only time you can really get into inside the aquifer and that's because karst means the rock is soluble so it can be dissolved and we can actually big enough for humans to go in and see it. So not all aquifers are karst? No. Not all aquifers are dissolvable, so this is very special? Yes. What are the most iconic features that are formed in a cave like this? The stream is constantly evolving and eroding and dissolving out you know, new pathways for itself. There's also deposition in the cave, so we can see some of the features in the ceiling here. Basically, as the water moves through the rock, you know, it's acidic, it picks up the lime, and then when it hits the cave roof, the carbon dioxide kind of evaporates out and then it can't hold that lime as much because it doesn't have the CO2 to hold the lime. So a little ring of limestone is left behind and as that happens over time, little stalactites grow and as more water comes in again, they just get bigger and bigger. And, and then the opposite, So where, where that splashes, again it degasses, it loses a bit of carbon dioxide. So you'd always see um, a stalagmite which grows up sort of underneath the stalactite. And if they grow together over time, they can grow together and form a pillar. And there's also other features like curtain, the kind of curtain drapery almost. Yeah, And beautiful. that's where you've got like flowing water and it's degassing and depositing calcite all the way along. So it's the same principle. Yes, yeah. Stunning yeah. features. Yeah. I'm curious about the dimpling on these walls though, on the rock themselves. What causes that? So that's called scalloping and that's formed by, basically by the water moving through it. As it's moving so fast, it's turbulent flow. So in a non-karst aquifer, the flow is considered laminar. It doesn't kind of have that, eddy, you know, turbulent. So as it's twirling around so fast, it kind of dissolves out these little pock marks. Do you know everything there is to know about caves now, like this particular <laughs> no, cave? Are you from... constantly discovering new things? Yeah, and it is constantly evolving. Like the cave itself is evolving, but there's new discoveries all the time. Even the Marble Arch Cave, the length of it changes because We've got another passageway that somebody joins to this passageway and then suddenly your cave is bigger again. And if you're looking at the world's deepest caves, longest caves, the list just changes all the time. 